Oh uh, well, okay. Come on, audience. Okay, now audience, and you goes to the right side. You look for manage audience, and you just click audience, and then you have a drop down. Goes to sign up form. Okay, now sign up form. You have option of form builder, embedded form, and subscriber pop up. This is where you want to do your pop up form here. What you do is just select subscriber pop up here. Just click se select. Alright, when you click select already, you have this pop up form that is actually designed for you. Now what you do is uh, you either choose modal which is right in the middle or you can choose slide which is on the right side or fix which is right in the bottom here only. Alright, what you do is you do bottom. So I would like to choose modal. Okay, just click this. No need help. All right. Okay, and then after that, on the right side, you choose display immediate. You can choose immediately. Okay, which means that uh, someone open up the landing page immediately. This pop up screen will pop up. Eh? Or else you can choose also after five seconds, twenty seconds. Scroll middle of the page or scroll bottom of the page or on exit. This example. I choose on exit, which means that whoever seen the form already but never do anything, I can just pop out a screen before they actually leave and all those things, right? So let's click on on exit. Alright, after on exit, then you will scroll down. On the right side, you see image alignment. Image alignment, which means that where is your image going to be? So this is going to be your image. So either none, okay, or this is top. Huh? right you just click on the right so the image will be on the right side here or left so your image will on the all sets okay now my i will do the top one first okay now we do the top one and then you scroll down the fill will be form will be area of course you can also choose whichever font you, you like i'm happy with area and also text color so which means the color here and also, also you can change color just click here and then you choose the color that you want and all this i'm happy with the black all right so pretty much is it so text is here subscribe it's either subscribe or you can change to sign up for example huh? okay now instead of sign up maybe i want to put like you know okay get the offer for example all right so you get the offer you see the button here is get the offer Right, and then the text color again this is different color because this is white so you want to change to red also can so it become red there but not visible because it's hardly can read so white is still the best background will be the background of this color or the button over color alignment left okay or you can put center okay or you want to put right also can but usually people will prefer on the left side okay you can also click full width so it make so it's right at the bottom or you can put here it's really up to you now, opacity will be transparency of this form so how the form whenever the form pop up your background still can be seen or not so 65 percent opacity is fairly good but you want to try out try out it you can always try out and see how it goes all right so basically so this is the design after design then you want to click on the fill click fill okay now you can decide your email and maybe you want to put first name okay and uh, let's example that's that's good enough for me unless you want to put phone number so maybe you have three column here you see there's three column here right and then after that you are okay with it then you just go for content right so go up here, see the content. You just click on the right hand content. So what contents you want to put? So you can put an image. Let's say example. Let me put an image. Example this one. Eh? So I click on image and I insert image. You see the image will be on the top, right? So this is good, right? This is so basically edge to edge, which means that it's to the bottom already. Or else you don't want edge to edge. You just click here. So you have you sort of like will not cut off sometimes you choose h2h things will cut off huh? 
So on top here also in the body, it says, says subscribe, you know. So here also, uh, put give me the bonus, for example. Right? So because what we want is, if they don't all sign up, then we want to give them and say, I want to give you some voucher or something. Okay, give me the voucher. Lah, huh? So then it actually will come back to you and all things. Then you go scroll down, you see this footer. Footer basically is this part. Okay, you want to add something like, okay, the voucher only valid in, okay, valid for 30 days, for example. All right, so voucher. So it's the bottom footer here. Uh, sign up successful and all things, which means that whenever they sign up already, it's like a thank you page and all things. So thank you for subscribing and all things, for example. This is good. Uh, if it's good and all things, you check. And you also want to check mobile. You just click on the mobile. How does that mobile look like? Oh, ugly. So you see this? Samai visual recut. So I probably will not want to go for H to H instead. Probably want to do this and see how whether mobile. Ah, you see, my mobile looks better instead of H to H. This maybe looks better for me. So give me the voucher and all things, right? So you also can put, for example, okay, like for example, footer and all things. You can put also notes lah. Now here you say uh, you don't want to bowl lah, okay? Oh, we hit to miss you okay we would like to give you okay give you uh, and power and get voucher okay for you to redeem Okay. Please put your contact below so that we could so we could send it to you. Okay, uh, for example like this. So at least the you know, reason for them to just keep contact and all things. Huh? Now if you're happy with this, this form, mobile, desktop as well. See how desktop looks like. Okay, looks like this. Fantastic. So what you do is, okay. Now what you do is you need to publish first. Huh? So where is the publish button? Uh, where are you, publish button? So probably go back to design. See where is the publish button? Now there's none publish button. Few also doesn't have. So it's fine. So what you do is you just go to generate code. Just click on generate code. Okay, and then you copy this code. Copy this code. Okay. And then you just close it. Oh you close it. Alright, make sure you publish first. Huh? Because if you don't publish, it will not work. So you click, click publish. Okay, it says you about to save and publish the changes to a website. To the pop-up form, you just click publish. So you have the pop-up form already. So once you have the coding just now, so you go back to view again. Huh? This is your coding. So like just now, you copy and paste. So copy again, huh? just for safety. So this code you copy, what you do is you go to, okay, like what we did on the uh, form uh, earlier, you know, when we built the form and all things, it's the same thing. You go to pages, for example, let's say uh, today I am selling, uh, okay, I'll just create at new, huh? okay, at new. Now I put, uh, let me just get some content from my website, dmhubtraining.com, okay. I'm uh, just trying to get some content so that you can show it to you earlier, easier. Okay, I'll uh, go to SEO. Okay, no, uh, e-commerce. As an example, e-commerce. 
Okay, we'll just wait for a short while. We'll drop down. Okay, we'll go for e-commerce training. Now, let's say example, I just copy a bit of content here, lah, just to show you. Of course, you can actually do. All right, uh, all right, okay. All this content is a bit long and all things. Probably what I'll do is I put e-commerce workshop objective first. All right, and then what I do is I put content here. Okay objective okay and then probably a bit more workshop description okay and just to show to you of course you can use design like what we did earlier but this is done by our designer okay and then we add title okay e-commerce class okay e-commerce training okay for example huh? so e-commerce training okay so you see this permalink is become my website slash e-commerce training so this is the e-commerce training okay uh, so called landing page and then I want to add a media add the pictures maybe so I add the same picture insert to the page for example all right so probably want to increase here so what I do is we, this is visual okay just now sorry just now because in the text so you want to click on the visual and see how it looks like so you have pictures the two lines here and all things now what you do, need to do is you need to put a code just now that you copy in right so what you do is you just click on text okay so become all these things that text and all things right so what you do is you paste the text paste the coding here sorry uh because i copied just now so pasting so i'll go back to the mail gym okay i'll copy this code again copy and then I put here, all right. So if you click on publish, you still see that I'm actually logged in already. So I need to log out to see it's better. Okay, now I'll just go back to again just now. Just copy this link and then open up another tip tab again. Okay. Alright, so you see my page here. So I mean, it still look ugly and all things, but but it's okay. So how does a pop up screen go? Basically, 